This is Jason Spangler, the Santee Swapper, here with the ScoutPatchCollectors.com Trader Recalendar. I have on the phone Greg Anthony, who's going to tell us about the great memorabilia show up in Manchester, New Hampshire, coming up in October. Hi, Greg. Thanks for coming on the phone. Oh, thank you, Jason. My pleasure. Greg, can you kind of start off by telling us a little bit of the background of this show? I know a lot of people enjoy going to Camp Carpenter and how long it's been going on. I understand from our pre-call that you're kind of the founder of the show. That's a good title. Yeah, we uh, started the show back in uh, 1984 when the camp uh, migrated from patrol cooking to a dining hall. We had finally able to have a facility to uh, have a show, and, uh, and then we all grew that dining hall, and the camp opened another dining hall. So we've been running 37 years now, and uh, it's been always uh, well attended from folks not only from New England, but pretty much up and down the East Coast. And we've had people come in as far as uh, California, Minnesota, and, and Texas as well over the years. Now, I know that COVID got you guys last time, like it got just about every trade to read. And you guys are in October, so certainly that's a long time from now when we all look for COVID to be a thing of the past. So tell us about your show that's coming up that we can all look forward to you know, October 29th and 30th. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, things are looking uh, good for us uh, for the fall and everything. And uh, there are a couple of nice things about the show is uh, we're, we're home in the Lawrence Ely Scouting Museum. And uh, that's uh, been a big draw for people to come not only to take in the show, but they love to come go there and, and spend an hour or two uh, uh, browsing through the museum with all the different memorabilia that's on display. It's one of the finer exhibits in the country. And, and that's always a big draw. It's a, it's an interesting show. Uh, there's a lot of camaraderie and fellowship, it seems, that brings people to come back year after year. We do get a lot of new faces uh, each year that come as well. And we have a fair amount of walk-in traffic, too. It's a little different. We're not in a big city uh, like, you know, a major metro, but we still get a fair amount of traffic that will come to the show and everything from uh, that's within a driving distance. We're pretty close to... Uh, you know, Boston, New York, New Jersey market. So people definitely come up uh, as far as that to uh, attend the show. All right. And I can't to let you off the phone until you tell us about the Lobster Fest. It sounds so awesome. <laughs> yeah, we uh, started the Lobster Fest, uh, I'd say five or six years ago. We were always doing a spaghetti scene on Friday night and having it as a New England show, we figured we had a lot of people coming in and we decided, hey, why don't we just do a lobster uh uh, dinner as well, and uh, and that's uh, turned out to be very popular with everybody. Uh, between the you know the uh, the main lobsters that we get, and uh, corn in the cob, and uh, a couple other uh, side dishes uh, and dessert and everything else, uh, it's pretty popular. The only thing we ask is that you bring an old neckerchief to use as a bib. <laughs> that sounds very appropriate. <laughs> But it's definitely a popular part of the show. We also uh, offer collections uh, and Scouting Heritage Merit Badge for Scouts. Uh, we do a lot of good publicity through the local uh, trade and recalendars that are out there in the Internet, as well as uh, the, uh, through the council with the uh, newsletters and the calendars and, and things along those lines, too. Now, I noticed that your treasury is very affordable. It's only $15 for a table, but you also have an inexpensive option if somebody's willing to stay in a camp cabin. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, we've got some, uh, they're rustic, but we do have some staff cabins that have uh, bunks in them. They, each cabin holds uh, four people, and it's, they do have electricity. Uh, it's definitely, uh, it works out well, and we get a lot of hotels that are within three miles of the scout camp, too. So it's convenient, or if you want a tent camp, uh, we've always kept fees low and try to make it affordable uh, for everybody. Fifteen dollars a table is what we charged back in, in the 1980s. So we've uh, we're not looking to make a ton of money. The proceeds do uh, support the uh, Scout Camp, Camp Carpenter, and Daniel Webster Council, and uh, we just looking look at it for as a way to get people to see the camp and perhaps they come back uh, another time with their Scout unit or just to have a good time and with some fun and fellowship. And you list here that you have room for 100 tables for exhibitors. That's actually a really pretty big size show. Yeah, we can do 100 tables. Uh, we could do more if we wanted to open up another building, but most people uh, don't want to <laughs> hop between one building and another with their displays uh, being left in one. 
So we can, and we've gone up to 100 tables in the dining hall. So that's where we max out. And we're pretty close every year, either selling out or right in the 90s as far as uh, tables. Well, listen, again, I uh, just want to give you a shout out. This is one of those shows that's kind of on my bucket list, not only for the Lobster Fest, but just to get back up to New Hampshire in kind of a period in the fall where maybe the leaves are turning colors and all that good stuff. So I will have this on my website at scoutpatchcollectors.com on the Trigger calendar. And everyone who's listening, you can go there and on the flyer it has Greg's contact information with his email so you can contact him and then also information about the cabins and some suggestions for hotels that are within five miles. Greg, anything else you want to say to the folks who might be listening? No, I I think that's about it. Uh, Just encourage everyone, if you haven't made it up, it's definitely well worth the trip. I promise you, you'll have a a great time and you'll want to come back a second time. So I do appreciate the opportunity to uh, let everyone know about it. So thank you, Jason.